She looks at him and says, Dude, you wanna play? Okay, so what's up guys? Um, welcome back to Lenny's Canines and to anybody who might be new here, welcome on board. We are a very big and wonderful community here. We're all about spreading awareness. Let's get to know more and more about how to handle our dogs and keep on improving. So then, are we ready? All right, then let's get into it. On today's video, I'm going to show you how I normally handle introducing a dog to an older dog that is maybe more established in a community or in your compound. I mostly prefer to do this with a puppy because they're less what's the term? They're less difficult, let's just say that. Then the best scenario is when you have an adult that's already well socialized. So see what happens. Or in the quick one, so that we're on the same page, let me explain what I'll be doing. So I'll be using Coco, who is a Japanese Spitz over here. He is a mature male. He can be very aggressive with other dogs if he wants to be, but he's well-mannered and he actually listens to what I tell him, so I trust him, yeah? Secondly, he was a bit aggressive initially with other dogs. I have witnesses here, but now we've done some work on him and he's actually very good with puppies females and a few males he is not neutered so he's intact which is why he's not very good with all adult males so yeah that's a long and short of it i'll keep on dropping information here and there if you need a clarification hit the comment section if you have a different opinion we are open to hear it all right let's enjoy coco It's extremely important that you notice the first time they meet a puppy lowers her body, she goes under Coco's head. That is very important because that's her submitting to Coco. That avoids any conflict whatsoever. Coco, move. I want to close the gate. Okay. Coco, come, come Coco, come, good boy. Okay. No. Good boy. She looks at him and says, dude, you wanna play? This is very good, it's called a play bow. Observe how she's posing. This is how dogs invite each other to play. An interesting thing I noticed with both of Coco? them is they can match each other's sure. energy. They both enjoy a bit of rough housing, so yeah, you'll see them do that quite a bit. Good boy. Good puppy. Very good. Down, Coco. Coco, sit. Yes. Good boy. I'll oh, pop your hand up, Yuko. Settle down. Wait, you almost <laughs> dropped my phone, man. Wait, wait. Good boy. No? Coco? 
Good boy. So this is their first interview. The audio is faded here, so what I'm saying is that Coco has a history of nice interactions with adult dogs as well as puppies, so this is why he took the chance. Also note he is a high energy dog, he's like a tennis ball, you can see the throw of the video even before this audio. Puppy. Hmm? Puppy. Wait, wait. And they hang out happily ever after. Alright, so I've actually tried to keep my energy level flat throughout the video. By flat, I mean like stable and constant for the dogs. Especially, you'll, you'll notice that if you hear me in the video and I talk to the dogs. When you have a calm energy, that is what the dogs mostly take up. You'll see it. When you're hyper, they become hyper. When you're chill, they become chill, right? Alright then. So the reason for doing the voiceover is to make sure that I chip in, let you guys know what's happening where well, the text may not serve as good. So I do hope you enjoyed it and you actually picked up a thing or two. You did learn something. We do help our clients on behavioral issues with their dogs. That's training or even rehabilitation. You've done rehabilitations for even some timid boarbells or borbor. And they even began to challenge people in a healthy way, that is. Um, so if you do need our services in any way or form, <laughs> I'll drop, I'll leave a comment in the, I'll leave a contact in the comment section rather. It's easier to change it there than in the video, right? So until next time, in case you have any queries, always ask Lenny's canines, yeah? So you have a good one. Bye.